Hey, so in the last video, we did some really simple variable assignments, some really simple printing, and some conversion from one variable type to another. On this one, let's do user input. So, whoop. we still need a function that is the main function that takes no arguments and has a body of code to execute. Now what's going to be different is uh, we're going to get to see a couple of things actually to do user input. First off is how do we get libraries in Rust? And uh, because we need to use the standard I.O. And that's like that. Oh, actually that. Oop, that. So std colon colon I.O. We need to include standard I.O. And now we can actually get some input from, from the user. We can get the input from standard in. Uh, first off, let's print something to tell the user that they need to give us something, some value. And what we're going to do is please enter a temperature. We're going to convert from Fahrenheit to Celsius in a H R and H E I T I E T E I T and far and height, which is hard to spell, which is why it's usually far. We need to get their input so we can do I O because we included it up here I O, and then we can say standard in is a function and we want to read a line off of it. Now this means we need to store the output of that line somewhere. So we need a string So this is a couple of new things. We also need it to be mutable. So there's a few things here happening, right? So this we had previously done let right let, like let x equals one two three. We can't then redefine x. That would create an error. But if we say it's mutable, we can change it. So like right here, I'm saying I'm letting input string be a new string, and I'm saying it is a mute, a mut, mutable, changeable. That just means changeable. So we have a string. Um, we need to do the standard input from the I/O library or use directive, and we want to read a line, and we're going to be sticking it in that input string. All right. And actually, I'm going to arrange it this way. Maybe you can just sort of chain them on. And then the next thing that we need to do in here, so that's another thing we've learned, is uh, yeah, we've learned mute, we've learned standard I.O., we've learned I.O. standard in, we learned read line. So we're saying basically use input string and modify it. Right. And then the next thing that we get to learn that's different is expect directives. What this is, is if read line failed for some reason, we can fix the error message. User, user input. And now the next thing we need is we need the actual temperature, F32 float. So here's another thing we just learned. We, um, I don't think we've done this colon style yet. So I'm saying I'm, uh, Fahrenheit is an F32. It's a float. And what is this going to do? This is going to equal, I'm going to take the input string, trim it. That actually is not, I think Max is not doing what I'd like you to do here. I'll do that. Yeah. I'll trim the string and then I'll parse the string. And again, I can do the fun expect trick. 
was not a float. And then the next thing we can do is we can do the Celsius temperature. So that is 5.0 times bar, the Fahrenheit temperature, minus 32. Oh, okay. And we divide this by 9. And then we should be able to just print off. So this is just current temperature. Let me find the degree symbol that their strings are Unicode. So I'm just copying that. There we go. Okay. So equals something degree Celsius. So we're converting from Fahrenheit to Celsius. And so that's far that's Celsius. Celsius. Ooh. Celsius isn't as bad as Fahrenheit to spell, but it's still not great. Oh, and you can already see it doesn't like this because you see what I've done. When, right when I saved it, it's hovering underneath the night my sign because I need to do point zero. And I probably also need to do point zero here so that it's all floats. And I need a semicolon. Thank you, Emacs. What else does it not like? Uh... Oh, I'm not an insert mode anymore. There you go. Close off the prints. So everything here is a float. Prints are closed off. All right. Now I should be able to rust compile, rust C before user input. And okay. Now I should be able to run it for user input. So a comfortable temperature is 72. The degrees Fahrenheit is 22.22221 degrees Celsius for uh, people who don't know proper temperatures like all of Europe.